Hey guys, it's Fuzz, and this tutorial is going to be how to install mods on GTA 4 for computer. Um, this one's just going to be for vehicle mods, but it's basically the same for everything else. So I'm just going to be on this site, gta4mods.com. I'll put a link in the description for it. Um, just find any mod you want, any car mod. Well, it's basically the same for everything. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the... Um, a different rancher with more suspension, better handling, all that. So you're just going to hit the di download now button and it'll download quite quickly. Once it's downloaded, I'm just going to drag mine to the desktop right here. Um, you're going to want to, it's probably going to be in a zip file, so you can just hit extract all files, extract, and then. You can delete the zip file because you've got it all extracted right here. Um, so here's that's just going to be the change log, and it's got all of the files that we're going to need to edit, which we'll do next. Um, so first of all, you can see these two files here. We're going to need a program called OpenIV, and um, I'll put a link in the description for that. It'll, you'll get this window when you run it. If you're running it for your first time, um, if you hit either of these, I'm um, doing it for GTA 4. It's the exact same f thing for episodes from Liberty City. Um, it'll ask you for your GTA 4 directory, and it's just basically where it's installed. I've already done that, of course, so it's just going to start up when I press GTA 4. It's now going to be in your directory. You're going to see a folder called Models. Just double click that. Then C C D images, double click that. And vehicles dot image. I've got a vehicles backup which I recommend doing, which is just a clean one with no mods in case it messes up your game or something. You can just have your backup rather than finding some way to download it or fully reinstalling the game. So you're gonna want to double click on the vehicles image. Um, see this edit mode button here. You just want to press that and press yes. That basically says that you can't undo anything you do in edit mode. So I click once on any of them and then press. Well, I'm doing this rancher. Um, you can follow that for the tutorial, but basically you just want to find the equivalent of that in the vehicle's image. So I'm just going to press R. Here's rancher. I'm just going to drag both of these out for a backup, basically. Um, then I'm just going to drag and drop both of these into the directory. And once you've done that, you just want to go to File and Rebuild. And it may take several minutes, just press yes. It just takes a couple of seconds. The bet you just don't do anything while it's rebuilding because it can corrupt it and whatnot. And then just press a no on that when it's done, and just you can cross out. And now we are done with that for now. You want to open up the change log, make sure you've got that opened. Um, you want to go to your GTA 4 directory, and once you have that, just you're gonna wanna go to you wanna go to common file at the top it should be double click on that go to data and we're gonna wanna find well what's the first one here handling so you're gonna wanna find a file called handling which is right there handling dot dat and it just opens with notepad so once you found that just double click on handling dot dat and have word wrap off in this file um, you're just going to want to hit Control and F and type in whatever vehicle it was that you edited. This is the rancher, so I'm just going to press Find Next. And as you can see, it's found the rancher file, the rancher handling line right here. So you want to go to this change log file. This will be with all of them, basically, it might be called README or whatever. It's going to have Word Wrap, whatever, yeah, Word Wrap on in this so you can copy easy. Just find the rancher, copy this whole line right here. Copy and highlight the whole line in this file. Make sure you've got it to the very end. 
Yep, that's at the very end there. The whole ranch line, nothing else. Right click, press paste. And then it might have not as much spaces, but it's all the same data. It's the same amount of data, don't be worried about that. Then you just go to File, Save with the handling. And the next thing we have here is Vehicles. Um, just copy this line right now. Um, it's going to be called the vehicles.ide. Let's click on once, press V, and there it is, vehicles IDE. That'll open with Notepad as well. Um, actually, you've got Word Wrap off again. Maximize that. Control F, Rancher, just like we did before. Um, once you've found it, you're just going to highlight the whole line again, just exactly the same as before. See, you've got it all highlighted. Yep. And then just paste the copied line on top of it. Once you've pasted the line over it, just file save. And then that's basically you done on the editing your stuff side of it. And you just close out of this. Make sure you keep your backups though, because if something goes wrong and you'll have them there um, now we're going to go over to the game as you can see now we have the car in game and it's a lot higher up it looks different and as you can see there the suspension actually works that's been added um, car just failed there um, it just looks a whole lot better since the handling's been edited it handles different as I said the suspension works properly this is on the beach, so it's a bit slidey. Um, yeah, so everything works basically. So, yeah. Thanks for watching the tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed it. Here I'm back at night time, putting neon on it. it looks better. <laughs>